I, th I see that we're custodians of this property for the next generation. We want to see our native flora and fauna thrive and I think for the whole biodiversity of this property it's important to look after that native land so we want to leave this property in even better order for the next generation. We're all merino operation for fine wool. We have about 16 and a half thousand sheep. I think one of the great things about family businesses and farms in particular is that we don't have to manage for a results in 12 months time or in six months time. We're managing for generations so the health of the landscape's important to us, not for now, but in 30 or 60 or 100 years time. As the farmland was cleared for farming, strategically bush was left in areas that were never going to be quite so productive and they've become really important natural wildlife corridors, so we're, we're lucky. And being close to the, the coast and the national parks, it all sort of links up, so the, the bush on our farm links up with bush that extends for thousands of kilometres. We're in the spotlight of the world now, so we've got to, we've got to be putting our best foot forward and, and seeing that we are, we are doing something positive. We see this as quite a holistic approach to the farm. We've, you've got to look after all aspects of it. We're, we're improving the land for future generations it is so much better for the environment. Once they're lost to the landscape, these areas of native bush and are here, they're gone forever. So our focus has been that, just trying to minimise our impact on the land over a long period of time so that it's whoever comes after us, the land base is, is secure. I think we owe it to the land. We owe it to the property. And I think we owe it to the next generation.